I want to take just a couple of minutes to say rest in peace to Scott Hall. Anyone who knows me knows I was a colossal wrestling fan when I was younger. And in many respects, I still am today. The problem is I just don't get a lot of time to watch. Um, Scott Hall, you might know him. Some of you might know him as Razor Ramon, the bad guy. But he later moved to WCW, dropped the Razor Ramon gimmick, started using his real name. And uh, believe it or not, the movie Scarface was the was the um, inspiration for his character. And uh, when he first, when he met with Vince McMahon to discuss his, uh, his wrestling persona, he asked Vince, uh, have you ever seen, and we're talking Vince McMahon here, he said, have you ever seen Scarface? And Vince is like, no. He said, he said, you know, you people need people like me so you can point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Well, say hello to the bad guy. And of course, Vince loved it and, you know, greenlit it immediately. But I really wanted to say, oh, man, I keep dropping this today. I wanted to just kind of put that out there today that we are doing this in memory of Scott Hall. And I want to say my deepest sympathies to his friends and his family, the man, not was a legend, is a legend, in my opinion. So, today I'm breaking out the Raven's Prophecy deck, and we're just going to do, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to do like a different spread today, but I was like, no, something's, something's telling me a mind, body, and spirit. Uh, spread today is probably best so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just uh, the usual 10 cards we're just gonna do 10 cards and we're gonna see exactly how this plays out all right so starting with your significator which is you got a three of cups so obviously something to celebrate which is great because this means that yesterday's reading had its impact on that person who took it. Maybe it was you. I hope it was you. Moving past your fear and moving into something a little more. Also, just to let you know, Bub is going a little bit psychotic. Uh, he wants to be fed early, and that's not going to happen. He knows that's not going to happen. But right now, the little bumps you're hearing are him playing around with something. Anyway, starting with the mind, we have six of coins, four of wands, and a knight of coins. Okay, so six of coins kind of moving into this uh, generous mentality this mentality of really kind of um, uh, how can I put this sort of sharing with others you're you are communicating and that much is uh, that much is very in tune with getting past the I gotta put the, the fear and this is this is you kind of embracing that charity you're giving you're not really giving away things you're just helping others and it's not a it's not a bad place to be this four of wands you can see that that bigger candle and the three smaller candles this four of wands is your next step. You're sharing those things, again pointing at the six of coins, you're sharing what really kind of just inspires you, what lights you up from inside. Guess what? People are going to catch on to that. They're going to do it too. And that's most important. However, 
the Knight of Coins, this is where you're, you're putting in your hard work, you're industrious, and you're very careful and measured. Really taking precautions, that's the thing. Because you don't want to give away anything you cannot give back to yourself. Uh, going into the physical here, we have a Page of Swords. We have a Hermit. And we also have an Ace of Wands. Now, that Hermit is kind of screaming at me right now. Because the Page of Swords really wants to... The, these, are the, these are kind of the thoughts of, I'm out to save the planet. It's a little external though. With the Page of Swords, we're looking at still very, very fast moving energy, very idealistic. Unfortunately, if you're not careful, that naivete that uh, Page of Swords, the Page of Swords, you know, Page of Swords wants to know things. They want to know the truth of matters. They want to know how things work. They want to sort through the gray until they find out just how much black and white have been used to make it. Now, you're going to have to use the energy of that Ace of Wands, which is very, very, um, I don't want to say direct because it's not it. But mo I'm going to kind of skip over this one for now because you're using that energy to propel you forward. So you're using very creative energy to, to physically manifest things in the real world. But in between, you're going to need to take time to reflect. You're going to need time, a little time to yourself to meditate, take a breather, literally breathe, and get your you know, get your mind straight because you will have sort of a, a jumble of thoughts. You're going to have a lot of ideas flowing. So just be right here. You're looking at being a little mindful. In the spiritual, though, we do have a three of coins. We have the star. And then we have the devil. Pardon the pun, but hell of a place for that one to come up. Okay, so I'm looking at the devil as like a cautionary card. Very cautionary. Because you can become addicted to all of this right now, I'm telling you. Like, this is, this is a spread for a very, very big and great day, but you can become very attached. You can, um, your vices can even get in the way of it. Right now, that Three of Coins is telling you this is time to collaborate very spiritually, very honestly. Uh, of course, the star, letting you know to do what it is that lights you up. But be careful, okay? Let me tell you something. You spend too much time trying to transcend reality, you're going to start losing your grip. And that's what this represents. You're going to start losing that grip. You're going to start really kind of, you, you know, it, things are going to suffer. And all of your hard work, all that, all that energy that you're putting into it, all the uh, inspiration that you're kind of letting out there, it can easily crumble. So this is, um, you know, don't, don't let your, don't let your vices get in the way. Don't, it, Hey, an addiction to fear can even be a thing. There are people right now completely addicted to fear. You can see it all around you. Some people catch a cold or just a particularly, uh, particularly bothersome flu and they'll freak out. So, watch those addictions and vices. Really watch those vices because those vices uh, they are they are deceptive. You know, like uh, having that. It's kind of like being on a diet. You have that one cheat meal, and boy, that was that was good. But do you really feel good afterwards? You're like, man, tomorrow I got to go back on that diet. You know. Well, one more won't hurt. Before you know it, you're off. You're off your entire program, right? So, be watchful. Because everything else in this reading is pointing to 
uh, really, you being, you are being a colossal contributor to something very, very wonderful. But it can be derailed very easily. And it can be derailed by you. So while you have something to celebrate here, try to remember to celebrate a little responsibly. It's okay. It's okay to collaborate. It's okay to, you know, get down with others. But just remember, watch that codependency as well. That codependency can be a nasty one. And it can easily derail you. Today, I'm looking at you taking on a more independent role. Keep being careful. Keep being measured. Don't worry about the rest. You're going to be just fine. Just be very watchful. Okay? Also, I could kind of see someone else trying to, uh, trying to use your own vices and uh, things like that against you. Those little things that you were um, really kind of holding on to. I can see that being definitely used against you. So for today, let me stress something. That reflection. That's why it's at the center of everything. Because you need honest reflection. You need to be very honest with yourself. You want to save the world, you're going to have to start with you. And that starts today. Don't get derailed. Plenty of working with others. Plenty of careful and measured, uh, measured approaches. Uh-uh. Down. You see this? He's trying to be fed early. <laughs> One take uncut, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens here. Anyway. This is you taking care of others. But just remember to take care of yourself in the meantime. Like I always say, take care of yourselves and each other. You know, the summary is really in the last part of this video. The things I always tell you. I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up at every opportunity. Just remember today, you need to be a little honest with yourself. You need a little bit of reflection in order to overcome the danger lurking ahead. Try not to give in too much to temptation. As Oscar Wilde once said, the only thing I can't resist is temptation. Today you really should. But always do what lights you up. Don't let someone else dim that. What did they ever accomplish? They're either with you or they're getting left behind. Can't save everyone. But as always, my friends, shine on.